Hello, welcome back to the channel. Now, I've just finished painting that. It was on uh, paper. It turned out quite nicely. So, watch me paint it here and talk my usual random nonsense. Without further ado, let's do some painting. Hello, welcome to my latest video. Hope you're all keeping well and all that jazz. You check the other cameras on, which it is, because I sometimes forget to turn it on. Anyway, slightly different today. I've got this great big wooden panel and I've just taped a bit of paper to it. Um, ran out of canvas, I discovered 10 minutes ago, much to my horror. But I do have a load of sketchbooks which is quite good and you can paint on this one and also which is good quality paper so we shall get going size wise it is where's my stick it's amongst all my clutter another art related brick a brick size it is 12 by is that 8 yeah 12 by 8 inches I should have known actually but there we go 12 by 8 so off we go i will get my palette cam turned on and i will show you what colors i've got i will see you in just a second right then palette cam is on i'll get a pointer i've got paints gray i've got some earth green and I've just put a dash of paints gray in that just to darken things off a bit I've got primary yellow primary blue and titanium white so in the middle need some zested non-toxic paint thinner which is amazing stuff glad i discovered it and, oh god i'm getting a bit low so i'm gonna have to get some more and we'll get going um i'll be interested to see now i'm gonna make a bit of a sky color it's gonna get a bit of that primary blue do some sky and we shall get going. There we go, we should do it. A bit of paint thinner in there as well. Now I'm interested. Now I know yellow and blue together makes green. So I'm just going to uh, add a bit of that as well, see what happens. Might be a bit too green, might be a bit sickly compared with the earth green colour. Well there we go, it's mixed in quite nicely and we'll get going. So I'll get my main camera on and we shall get the show on the road. I'll see you in a second. Right then, let's uh, do this. We'll time it. Uh, I'm going to go for 15 minutes with this one. It'll be a lot less because it's only small and I work very quick. So uh, I've got my long handled brush and we'll start, just get some uh, nice yellow first of all, just plunk some down here and a bit of um, sap green as well, some paint thinner. Yeah, we're all keeping well and all that business. I'm uh, slightly more exuberant than usual, a bit more annoying because I'm delighted beyond measure that my work is now in the ink gallery in colin bay north wales so i'm very pleased about that check out the link in the description if you happen to be in colin bay north wales go and have a look might be a bit difficult if you live in um, rio de janeiro or something like that but uh, check out the link in the description have a look my paintings will be for sale soon. They haven't quite updated the website yet, but um, they're working on it as we speak. There's only the one curator, and he's doing an amazing job. And he's got a hell of a lot, to, a lot of work to uh, deal with at the minute. But I'm just really pleased that my paintings are in an actual proper gallery. 
Right, it's a bit of a foreground a bit. Right, let's do some sky. I forgot to put my gloves on. I might find a glove that's not torn. Just to give my hand a bit of protection. I can only really see the one. That'll do. We'll put some of this uh, blue in the sky. So yeah, this week's going to be full of uh, opening nights and social engagements and all sorts of other stuff. Which is my worst nightmare because I've got crippling shyness, believe it or not. I can talk on a camera, there's no problem, but um, as for talking to real people, God, it's a nightmare. But we'll see how we get on. I suppose most artists have social awkwardness, that's why we paint. But it'll be fine, I'm excited about it. I'm not going to get dressed on, I'm probably going to dress as this, you know, what I'm comfortable in. And I suppose being an artist, I ought to start dressing like an artist, you know, dungarees and hats. <laughs> but I've never really been into that sort of thing. Being a shy person anyway, I don't like being centre of attention. So yeah, I'll probably go in my t-shirt and jeans. We'll get a haircut. Oh, something uh, flashed up on Facebook yesterday. And um, where's my brush? And it was a picture of a, an old blackboard in a school. Brought back loads of memories. Um, those of you who are lucky enough to be younger than 40 might not remember but um you know the blackboard and it, it's basically a roller and you pull it down and it, it goes around so you, you write on a bit roll it you've got a blank piece and you write on that you know if you're a teacher or whatever and there wasn't a day that went by where someone normally me would draw a big six foot phallus and knob on uh, the blackboard and then hide it and then roll it so it goes behind and um, you know the, the teacher will be in mid flow during the lesson do the writing on you know the clean bit and then roll it and this big knob would get revealed in front of the whole class and then hilarity, wood and shoe. Well, oh, I use my fingers a bit again for the sky. Yeah, lots of memories with blackboards and things like that. More than one occasion I had a board rubber launched at me. Which obviously I won't be able to do now. But yeah, if we're dicking about in class, I mean, by board up, I'm in a great big lump of wood, and uh, one of them hit you. My God, you knew about it. Quite often, uh, well, it got to the point because we're doing it all the time. The teachers would, you know, during lunch or dinner, or, you know, you'd, you'd draw the knob or whatever, and the teacher would check the blackboard before they start, you know, before the start of the lesson, just to make sure there wasn't any obscenities. Remember one occasion, now, this wasn't me, I was a bugger at school, but um, this you know i wasn't involved with this um remember one occasion arriving at school early in the morning and now i went to lady manor school in bakewell in derbyshire 
in the middle of England, famous for Bakewell pudding and all the rest of it. And um, this school, it was reasonably posh and it's still there now, but um, it's got a magnificent um, main building. You go on the website, Lady Manor School, you can see it. You know, it's a great big long building. Palatial. It's almost like a stately home, I think. And uh, in front, it's got a fountain and a pair of big lawns and everything. Sirens going. Incidentally, I'm on call, so if I do go off, I apologise. I'll have to disappear off. But anyway, I got there early in the morning, and um, one of the groundsmen was going up and down with a mower, you know, frantically mowing away. Because on this on this magnificent lawn, now the the head teacher at the time was called Mr. Morris. And I try not to swear, but someone had poured petrol writing. Mr. Morris is a W word, you know, and you know, rhymes with anchor. You know, on this on this huge lawn, you could have seen it from space. And yeah, the, the groundsmen were there trying to mow it out. And we all got an, an almighty bollocking of assembly whole assembly got lectured and it wasn't nothing to do with me but we still got done for it oh, use my fingers a bit more my brother i don't know how he did it he never got a foot wrong the whole time he was at school not once but um on his very last day i think he'd finished his a levels he was at sixth form and on the very last day um after school had finished now because it was a reasonably posh school we had cricket and all that twaddle and we had this magnificent um cricket pavilion that was white and my brother got caught with some others with um you know, they're wearing overalls and a stepladder and they had some fluorescent paint. And yeah, they got caught before they actually managed to do anything. That was the, the one time he got in uh, bother. We well, didn't really get in bother because all the teachers said, well, yeah, he's done nothing wrong for the past six or seven years. So uh, I think it was just a letter home and, you know, some people found it quite funny. But I, I kind of wish he got caught because it would have been fun. And wish he did it because it would have been funny, you know, in fluorescent cricket pavilion. I mean, it's, yeah, it's perfectly harmless fun. Right, what we're on? Ten minutes. I've got another five minutes to go. It's not looking too bad. Let's put a little bit of Payne's Grey on up here. Just a tiny bit. Whack it on. A bit more of that blue as well. Yeah, I was a pest at school. I wish I wasn't, because you know I'd be an astronaut by now if I'm to mess about at school. But there we go. Right, it's a bit more white. It's quite nice, this paper. I do like it. About 11 minutes. Got a 15 minute limit coming up. And I'll be quite strict with it like I normally am. Right, that's that. Now let's uh, get my brush again. I'm just going to put a bit of Payne's Grey down. It's darken off this foreground. Just give it a bit of contrast.
Whoops, a bit too much. Let's give my brush a quick wipe. A bit more titanium white on there to take the edge off that Payne's grey mistake that I did. And I'll get some primary blue. Might just mix a bit of Payne's grey into that. Just put a bit of distance on. Could be distant hills or something. Or whatever. Get my spare brush. Let's churn that up a little. What we on? 12 minutes. Yeah, it's a bit like distant hills. I'm going to live with that. Right, let's get some yellow again. Just put a bit there like that. Bit more Payne's Grey, 13 minutes, we're nearly there. And that will just about do it. It's a bit it's a bit dark here at the minute, it might be alright on camera. Because with this bloody board up, it cuts out all the light from my window. Right, 13 minutes got. Well, got a minute left. So it's a bit more yellow just there. I'll use the time wisely. Let's get a bit of Payne's Grey, just plonk something there, could be anything, trees, something like that, could be anything you like, 30 seconds remaining, and I think we are there, so thank you so much for watching, it means a lot, it's not perfect, but it's a uh, good practice, it's a good play, so um yeah i think that's that so don't forget to check out the ink gallery as i say um it's www.inkgallery.co.uk and if you're over this way have a look at my work in the flesh and there's so many other artists in there as well who are absolutely incredible artists so it's such a privilege to be part of it so thank you um have a look at my facebook page just put john kid artist into facebook and i'm on instagram and johnkid.co.uk so thank you so much for watching it really does mean a lot and i will see you in the next video bye bye